Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create children's flipbook storybooks in Artistly AI, which is an online generative AI design platform. So I'm logged into my Artistly account. This is the main dashboard area. Click on create design and then choose this option for fast AI image designer. We are currently in the AI image designer version 5 section. Click on AI design agents. And in this section, you can create three types of storybooks. I click on script to storybook. I'll be creating separate tutorials for each of these. Next, click on create new storybook. And in this box, copy and paste your storybook script. Just make sure to be specific about the theme, age, and characters. Next, I'll use this drop down and I'll choose the page dimensions. I'll go with 4x5 and I'll click Choose Style. From this pop up, I'll choose this cartoon style and it will bring me back to this page. And I'll click on Generate Story. It will then start generating the storybook pages, and this can take a few minutes. So just give it some time, and uh, it will then redirect you to the personal designs section. Here are the storybook pages it generated based on the script. Let me scroll down so you can see the ones it generated. Let me just scroll back up, back again. So next we need to create a flipbook by using my flipbooks. But first, let's generate the front page book cover. So I'll click on AI Design Agent and click on Book Cover. It'll bring me to this page where you need to complete these individual sections. So I'll go ahead and do that and then click on Generate Prompts. It'll then take a few seconds to generate the prompt for the book cover. And just give it a few seconds. And here is a detailed prompt it generated. Now it's a good idea to just copy the prompt and save it to another document as a backup. Next, I'll use this drop down to choose the aspect ratio. I'll choose 4 by 5 and then click on Generate Book Cover. It will then start generating the book cover in a few seconds and it will bring you to the personal designs section. And here is the book cover it generated. I'll click on my flipbooks at the top and it will bring me to this page. Click on create new flipbook. Make sure that you are in the script to storybook section. Click on create flipbook. Then check this box and it will automatically select the pages. As you can see, it selected 12 pages. Let me scroll down and then I'll click on Create Flipbook. You'll see this dialog box. Entry of flipbook title here. Click on Select Voice. And from this pop up, you can choose a narration voice. I'll go with Ethan and it will bring me back here. Next, click on Select Template and you'll see these options. Now, they will be adding many more options here as well as an option to upload our own. For now, I'm going to choose this one. Next, I'll click Choose from Library to choose a front cover. And from my media library, I'll choose this one that we just generated earlier. And we are back here. Let me scroll down. If you want to, you can upload a back cover. I'll skip this and then click on Generate Flipbook. You'll then start generating the flipbook storybook. But please note that um, to generate the flipbooks, uh, this can take um, 5 to 10 minutes. In this case, this one was generated in less than 5 minutes. You will see the status in progress. And once it's generated, you'll see ready. 
You can use this download button to download the storybook as a PDF document. And if you click on Read, it will open a separate tab where you can see this toolbar at the bottom. And you can click this Play button and it will automatically play the storybook with the audio narration. And you can check the link in the description section for this storybook. You can also use this arrow button to just manually flip each storybook page and go through each page as you can see as I'm doing right now. And this is a pretty nice way to share your storybooks. There is so much more that you can do with Artistly. You can check the link in the description section to try it and get it at a discounted price. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.